Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the homebrew channel on your Wii. Now before I start, um, if you're wondering about Super Mario Sunshine, I had to put it on hold because I've been having some issues with Audacity crashing immediately after the recording. I've tried rebooting my computer, I've tried reinstalling, I just need to figure out what's causing it to do that. And as soon as I figure out the bugs, I'll be back updating Super Mario Sunshine. So for now, I'll start the tutorial on how to get the homebrew channel on your Wii. So in 09, I uh, showed you how to do this. Unfortunately, that method does not work with the newer version of the, the latest version of the Wii system software, 4.3U. So, but I've discovered a new way and to do this. You're, you need to use the letter bomb installer. It gives you everything. You don't have it's it's a lot it's a lot more simplified. You don't have to download all the stuff I did before. So basically the address up here, I'll zoom in on this, but it's please.hackme.com. And it, me is spelled like, you know, me is on the Wii. It'll take you to this page. It says letter bomb. First thing you want to do is select your system menu version. Um, if you have 4.3U, select that. If you have 4.3E, 4.3J, or 4.3K, select any three of these. And then you're going to need your Wii's Mac address, which I'll show you how to do when I switch over to the Wii. But... Um, just to tell you in words, you can go to the Wii options, connection settings, internet, and then within there somewhere there should be some about this Wii's internet connection or something, and it'll tell you your MAC address. And this is not my MAC address, by the way. This is just an example. So if this is your MAC address, um, I'm sorry, but I'll just... I might just censor this out just for security reasons. And then you want to make sure this box that says bundle the hack me installer for me is ticked. So make sure you tick that, then enter these two words. Um, and then click on cut the red wire. Don't click cut the blue wire. I don't know what cut the blue wire does, but just make sure I'm okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know what cut the blue wire does, but you definitely want, don't want to click cut the blue wire. And then once you do that, um, you'll get three files. You want to delete. There will be a bunch of other readmes and stuff. The ones you want to save, I mean, even though I have a file called installer, you only want to... What, your S, just forget, just pretend that installer is not on this, the file, the installer is not on this one, on this file. See, you only want to have private, the private folder and the boot.elf file on your SD card. So these are the only two files that you should have. This one will only, this one only appears after you've installed the homebrew channel. I've already done it, but um, I'm going to be, I, I uninstalled it so I can, I can do this demonstration. So now that, now that you have your SD card prepared, we can head on over to the Wii. Okay, so now that you're on your Wii, well, let me just adjust my mic. Before I get started, I'll show you how to check your MAC address. If you don't know, if you didn't understand uh, how it was, how I said it, you go to Wii Options, Wii Settings. Let me just adjust my mic here. Sorry about this. And um, you can click right here where it says Internet, Console Information, and then there's your MAC address. Now that's my real MAC address, so I'm just going to bleep that out. Um, and if you don't know what version of uh, the system software you have, on the first page it'll say up here version 4.3U or whatever version you have. Um, so anyways, once you have your SD card inserted, don't click this. You want to go to your messages and go back a couple days. And as you can see on Thursday, June 28th date, I have this letter bomb message. You can click on it and it'll it'll go through a bunch of codes and stuff. And then it'll give you this message saying this software must not be sold neither alone as part or as part of a bundle. If you paid for the software or received it as part of a bundle following payment, you have been scammed and should demand your money back immediately. And then it says for further details, see and then they give you a link where you can go to you know, see if you were scammed or something. But I did not pay for the software and for some reason they make you wait like a really long time for this to go away. Okay, there you go. When you hit one to continue then you see there's a couple, um, it's saying that you can use um, iOS versions. I don't know why it says that, but it basically it's you, it says the homebrew channel and boot me. It says can be installed. You click continue, then you scroll up to install the homebrew channel just using the D-pad. You press A, it'll ask you do you want to install now. Scroll up to yes, continue, and then it should install the homebrew channel. If, if successful, you should see the word success. You can just hit A again, and then hit exit and it'll return back to your Wii menu 
and there you go you should be right at the homebrew channel you can press the home button and it's just like the homebrew channel and it did not initialize the network well actually now it says my Wii's IP but um, you can load applications in and I'll probably be doing a tutorial on how to get Windows 95 on the Wii because I already did one on Windows 3.1 I'll link that in this video so um, I will see you guys in hopefully when Super Mario Sunshine returns hopefully audacity does not screw up